Hey everyone, this is j Row Lights, and in this video, we are going to be breaking down a portion of my Zippo collection. If you haven't seen that last video where I did the overview of my collection, check it out in the description below. The next few videos that I'll be doing, I'll be breaking down just a segment. I'll start off in a display, and then I'll work my way through the entire collection. So stick around and check out some of the Zippo lighters in my collection. Welcome to j Row Lights. This is the first side of this display case that we're going to look at. I really do like this display. I think I picked it up for about 50 bucks in an antique store. Zippo's fit in it perfect. It's not a Zippo display, but it works. And I really like how it looks, how it rotates. So this side is pretty much my, some limited, mostly limited editions, some artwork series, uh, kind of my artsy side, uh, my artsy lighter. So we're going to take a look at some of the, the lighters in this case. We're going to take a look at each lighter on this side in this display case. We are going to start at the top. Here we have two repair boxes. These were used whenever they had the red candy stripe box in the mid to mid 50s to early 60s. You would send your Zippo into the Zippo repair clinic. They would repair it and send it back in those boxes. I think those are really neat boxes, hard to find. Next, we have a Zippo letter opener. I'm not sure what year they did the design for this letter opener. I have a couple that are a little different shape, but anything that has that Zippo big bold lettering, I'll take it. First tier of lighters that we have are our Zippo art series. They Zippo did a art series last year and it was about four weeks over the course of four weeks, they had one artist telling their story about artwork that they incorporated on a lighter. And we'll start with John Smith Gambala. I really do like this Zippo. The color of it, the texture of it. This is one of my favorite of the series. They limited to 250. 2021. This sold out in 15 minutes. The next one they released, I believe, and my memory serves me right, is the Spazic. Spazic, he paints with fire. His artwork is done with fire. And this is a, I mean, it's his, a typical design of his, but it looks cool. 2021 out of 250. This sold in about three minutes, I believe. The next one we had was Mozzie. Mozzie, if you don't know Claudio Mozzie, look him up. This fantastic artwork on, on Zippos. I don't have an original airbrush by Mozzie. I've had a few pass through here as I shipped them overseas, but I've not had one in my personal collection. 29 out of 250. This was made in 2020. However, I think they just took the finish of the lighter and printed on so the Lighter itself was made in 2020, but I'm sure the design, the print design was put on a little afterwards. And then we have Ann Stokes. Ann Stokes has some really neat Zippos. She really does. I'm not, it's not my style per se, but I do, you know, I got to give her props. Some of the mythical creatures that she has printed on Zippos, even a couple 540s look really, really cool. So 240 out of 250, once again, 2020. I just think they had this matte purple already made and they just printed her image on the Zippo. So that's the Facebook series. Mozzie sold out in about 90 seconds and Ann Stokes sold out in about three minutes. But it was a, the reception of this series was really, really successful. Unlike the Art of Rock series, that was a dud. Uh, well, We'll talk about the Art of Rock series one of these days. Next on the tier, we have the first Spazic. 
to my recollection. I remember when they dropped this. They dropped this on Facebook, limited to 850. This is one of my favorite. This is my favorite spazic. Just it pretty much shows how he designs his zippos. He burns the paper and creates his images. And anytime an artist can incorporate a zippo in their artwork, I love it. This is 2017. Here's the first Spazic 540, excuse me. And I'm not, you know, I'm not a big Spazic fan by any means. I'm just, I think a couple of the pieces that they've put on lighters is pretty neat. You know, and as his first 540. So this next one is a 540. It's from China. This is a genuine Zippo lighter. But if you look at the item number, that's a Chrome Zippo base item number. All 540s are done in matte white. Can't really see the bottom. It is 2020. I have no doubt that this is a genuine Zippo. Yeah, you know, I've compared the insert. I've compared the case. I just, I think this is a genuine Zippo. Just the design itself, 540s, wouldn't... Uh, wouldn't it be wouldn't it be covering the bottom still a really neat design whether it's a uh, fake or not i like it i'll take it next we have the 25 years mozzie this is one that zippo had but the actual airbrush zippo itself went for 500 dollars on zippo's website i got a couple of them to send overseas to uh had a couple collectors want it when they came in, they were beautiful, just how they shined. Uh, so I just got the, I could only afford myself the commemorative one. So 2021, Mozzie. So we go down, we have some just, this is a Zippo that you got at the Visitor Center, 2002. Nothing really special, this is kind of a common design. This one, this is really special, more sentimental. Uh, this is from a friend, a collector friend. Merry Christmas, Zippo. So I thought that was really special. Any Zippo I get as gifts, I keep. Here we have the Founders Day Zippo, if you can see. This is a 2021 Founders Day commemorative. They did do a limited edition one that sold for $200 gold plated. I did not get that. GGB. George G. Blaisdale. The reason why I have it in a protective sleeve is I got kids, I got grimy fingers. It's a pain to continue to polish high polished chrome and brass. So I put those in sleeves. Next Zippos on the list are exclusive 540s. This one is the most recent. This could have been found on eBay through, uh, through one of the dealers on eBay. 2022. I have not taken the sticker off yet. Let me go ahead and do that right now. I do not like these new stickers. They sometimes leave more residue and even orange pieces. But that one came off good. All right. And you'll notice that it's not in the typical 540 box. I'm not 100% sure of why it's not in the typical uh, 540 box. You see how it's kind of mirroring the sides. Only reason I can think of is I know Zippo's been, you know, I'm sure they got supply shortages right now, like everybody else. So they may be having trouble with some boxes. Um, I'm not, not sure. That's the only thing I can think of, but this one is limited to 300 pieces from what my understanding is due to the design process. They cannot n exclusively number each Zippo just due to the design process. The next one is the 2021 holiday Zippo that you can only get at the Visitor Center. I do like this one. I really like all 540. So this one's limited to 100 pieces. The only way you could get this is at a visitor, at the Visitor Center. I had a couple friends in the area pick this one up for me. Same with the next two. They released this one in 2021. I think it, I forget when they did it, but Four Seasons to Design. You can only get it at the Zippo Visitor Center. I do like this one. Just it's pretty. It's the art, you know, artwork limited to a hundred pieces. Like I said, I wish they could 
individually number them. But I think right here is my favorite 540. This is the 2020. I think either this one was the first 540 that I can think of, or it was the I Spy. I can't remember. But one of the first 540s. And I think it's a beautiful, just really detailed with the trees. Really beautiful design. They did limit this one to, I think, like 188. It was some odd number like that. Once again, because of the design process they didn't even put a limited two on this one i think just because they were first getting started with the 540s home for the holidays and our last tiers i showcased this one in one of my shorts this is the marlboro virgin river slash majestic views you could get this on marlboro's website using their points uh, if you smoke i don't smoke but i have contacts who do and somebody traded me a zippo for this one i just i don't collect cigarette zippos however this one i don't see as a cigarette zippo it is just a beautiful backdrop next two are some mozzies some 360 cuts they're laser engraved oh that's close all right this one is sapphire i got them in the wrong box this one has a blue tint to it. This one has a black tint to it. There's another one with a purple tint out there called Abyss. And this is another visitor center. This one is numbered. This is just a laser engraved. 53 out of 100. Rose gold. I really do like this one. It's sharp all the all the way around. This was a Visitor Center exclusive, 2020. And that's it. That's the first part of my Zippo collection. I will be putting out a couple of these videos a week. I have over 300 of them, so bear with me. Like, share, and subscribe if you want to continue to see my Zippos up close and personal. If you have any questions regarding Zippos, let me know in the comments below. If you see something in the overview that you want to see and you want that bumped up in my, uh, my list, let me know in the comments. I'll try to, to honor those requests as they come in. So this is J-Row Lights. We'll see you on the next one.